this is a mistake that I made, but I'm hoping that whoever's watching and listening right now can learn from this mistake. Justin Timberlake, a name that for years has been associated with hit songs, chart-topping albums, and sold-out tours, found himself in a much more somber setting recently. The pop icon, known for his soulful voice and incredible showmanship, was not making headlines for a new album or a blockbuster film role, but rather for a legal battle stemming from an impaired driving incident in June. After months of legal back and forth, Timberlake appeared in court to face the music. On Friday, he formally pleaded guilty to a lesser traffic violation, concluding his DWI case. The once Weeky Clean Star was ordered to pay a $500 fine, perform 25 hours of community service at a nonprofit, and appear in a public service announcement on the dangers of drunk driving. This marked the end of a long, winding road for the singer, but one that raised many questions about how someone as successful as Timberlake could find themselves in such a situation. But there's much more to the story. Let's dive deeper into the incident, the court proceedings, the legal drama that ensued, and Timberlake's struggle to maintain his public image amid whispers of a hidden drinking problem. The story the story begins on a warm June evening in the Hamptons. Timberlake had spent the night out, enjoying drinks with friends at a well-known local spot, the American Hotel. According to reports, Timberlake consumed a single martini before getting into his car to head home. However, what should have been a quiet drive through the upscale neighborhood turned into a legal nightmare when police pulled Timberlake over for running a stop sign and swerving between lanes. The initial charge? Driving while intoxicated, DWI. It wasn't long before Timberlake was arrested and booked. His mugshot soon made making its way onto the internet, sparking a media frenzy. His eyes, noticeably bloodshot and glassy in the photograph, painted a picture that seemed to contradict the statements made by his attorney and the bartender on duty that night. Timberlake had refused to take a breathalyzer test at the scene, further complicating his defense. It was a shocking turn of events for the 43-year-old star, whose reputation, up until this point, had been largely free of the scandals and controversies that often plague celebrities of his stature. Now, he was facing the possibility of severe legal repercussions including jail time. As the dust settled from the initial arrest, Timberlake's legal team, led by high-profile attorney Edward Burke Jr., immediately went into damage control mode. Burke was adamant that his client was not intoxicated on the night of the arrest. He repeatedly argued that the police had made several significant errors during the traffic stop and that Timberlake should never have been charged with DWI in the first place. Burke's defense hinged on the fact that Timberlake had only one martini and wasn't under the influence to a degree that would warrant a DWI charge. Charge. The bartender at the American Hotel also backed this claim, telling People magazine that Timberlake had only one drink while at the bar. If he was drinking more, it wasn't here, the bartender stated, attempting to shield Timberlake from further scrutiny. Despite these statements, the evidence seemed to suggest otherwise. Timberlake's mugshot, with his visibly bloodshot eyes, coupled with his refusal to submit to a breathalyzer, cast doubt on his claims of sobriety. Whispers began circulating in the media, and sources close to Timberlake alleged that the star had been battling a drinking problem for years years. In an exclusive report from Page Six, a music insider revealed that Timberlake's struggles with alcohol were no secret within his inner circle. It's not a secret. Everyone knows. He has a real drinking problem, a lot of weed, but a major alcohol problem, and he's been hiding and masking it for years, the source claimed. However, Timberlake's camp quickly denied these allegations. A source close to the singer told Page Six that Timberlake had never been better and dismissed the rumors as exaggerated. Nevertheless, the damage was done. Timberlake's pristine public image had taken a hit and he now faced an uphill battle to restore it. Ultimately, Timberlake's legal team managed to secure a plea deal that reduced the original DWI charge to a lesser offense, driving while ability impaired, DWAI. A DWAI charge, while still serious, is not considered a criminal offense like a DWI. The main difference between the two is the level of intoxication. A DWAI suggests impairment, but not necessarily to the level of being legally intoxicated. On the morning of his court appearance, Timberlake arrived at Sag Harbor Court in the Hamptons dressed casually in a black shirt, matching sweater, brown slacks, a pearl necklace, and sunglasses. He looked calm and composed as he made his way into the courthouse, flanked by two men in suits. During the proceedings, Timberlake made a public statement, acknowledging his regret over what had transpired. I try to hold myself to a very high standard echoing sentiments of disappointment and self-reflection. I should have had better judgment. Outside of the courthouse, Timberlake addressed the gathered crowd of reporters, calling the ordeal a mistake and expressing his hope that others could learn from it. Even if you've had one drink, 
Don't get behind the wheel of a car. Offering a message that he hoped would resonate with those watching and listening, Timberlake's apology seemed heartfelt, and his message was clear. No matter how minor the amount of alcohol, it's not worth the risk. His words carried weight, especially considering his massive fan base, many of whom look up to him as a role model. But would this apology be enough to repair the damage done to his image? The terms of Timberlake's plea deal were relatively mild, considering the potential penalties he could have faced if convicted of DWI. In addition to the $500 fine and 25 hours of community service, Timberlake was ordered to participate in a public service announcement highlighting the dangers of drunk driving. According to New York law, first-time offenders convicted of DWAI can face up to one year in jail. However, in Timberlake's case, the judge opted for a lighter sentence, likely in recognition of his clean criminal record and willingness to accept responsibility for his actions. One significant consequence Timberlake did face was the suspension of his driver's license. In August, Timberlake's license was temporarily revoked, and it could remain suspended for up to six months, according to legal experts. While it's unclear if the judge will uphold the suspension for the full term, this is a penalty that Timberlake will have to endure, a stark reminder of the serious consequences of impaired driving. While Timberlake's legal case may have come to a close, rumors about his alleged drinking problem continue to circulate. The Page Six report, which claimed Timberlake had been hiding a drinking problem for years, cast a long shadow over the singer's reputation. For years, Timberlake has been one of the few stars to maintain a relatively clean image, free from the kind of scandal that has derailed the careers of others in Hollywood. His success in music and film has only solidified his place as a global superstar. But the DWI case has led some to question whether Timberlake has been struggling behind the scenes. As with many celebrities, Timberlake's life has been under a microscope for decades. The pressures of fame, the constant scrutiny from the media, and the demands of a high-profile career can take their toll on anyone. While Timberlake has not publicly addressed the rumors of a drinking problem, the DWI incident has certainly fueled speculation. In the wake of the DWI case, the question on many fans' minds is, can Justin Timberlake rebuild his image? The answer, it seems, lies in how Timberlake handles this chapter of his life moving forward. His public apology and participation in the public service announcement on drunk driving are positive steps, demonstrating that he's taking responsibility for his actions. The completion of his community service will also show a commitment to making amends for the mistake he made. However, Timberlake's long-term reputation will depend on whether he can avoid similar incidents in the future. For now, Timberlake seems focused on moving forward, both personally and professionally. He's remained relatively low-key since the incident, but it's only a matter of time before he's back in the public eye, either through new music or film projects. At the heart of Timberlake's ordeal is an important lesson, one that he hopes his fans will take to heart. His message outside the courthouse was simple but powerful. Even one drink don't get behind the wheel. For Timberlake, this moment represents a turning point, not just in his personal life, but also in how he's perceived by the public. It's a reminder that even the most successful individuals can make mistakes, and it's how they respond to those mistakes that truly matters. In the months ahead, Timberlake's actions will speak louder than words. If he can continue to show that he's learned from this experience and is committed to being a positive influence, there's no doubt that he will emerge from this stronger than ever. For now, fans will be watching closely, hoping that their favorite pop icon can bounce back and continue to inspire, both on and off the stage.